Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are making four easy coffee cocktails utilizing Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. So these four cocktail recipes are super easy. This is exactly what the channel is about, is showing you guys how to easily recreate recipes at home. Speaking of making cocktails at home, the team from Mr. Black and I have joined forces and we're bringing you the Coffee Cocktails Challenge. This gives you the opportunity to submit your recipe into a competition. There's weekly prizes, a grand prize, including a coffee machine. And you also have the opportunity to have your cocktail featured on the channel here. So make sure you stay tuned for more details. I'll put a little bit more information in the uh, description below, but stay tuned over the coming week and I'll give you the full details. So I'm about to get started on the first cocktail, but make sure you stick around to the end because I've got a small giveaway as well. Uh, but first up, let's make the espresso martini. This is a little bit of a different one as opposed to the classic espresso martini, which calls for coffee or espresso, coffee liqueur and vodka. This is only a two ingredient espresso martini. Nice and simple and it calls for 60 ml, two ounces of Mr. Black. So add that straight into your cocktail shaker and then follow that with some espresso. 30 ml. So remember the espresso is the important part to get that perfect crema in your cocktail. You can use a pod machine, espresso machine if you've got one. And that's it, two ingredients. I haven't actually tried this particular recipe before. And with two ingredients, it's dead simple. Ooh. It's looking good. And then strain that into a martini or a Nicanora. And of course for garnish, three coffee beans. This two ingredient espresso martini recipe is the bomb. This is probably one of the, the thickest looking cremas that I've actually made in an espresso martini. Sometimes the bubbles are a little bit too big, but this is like tiny fine beads and that, that crema, I can tell that that's gonna stay there for a long time. So there you have the espresso martini. Next up, a coffee old fashioned, also known as a cold fashion. This is an incredibly easy recipe. I mean, an old fashioned generally is it's simply sugar, bitters, and whiskey. In this case, I'm substituting the, the sugar component and the bitters with the coffee liqueur. So it's just equal parts. So I'm gonna measure 45 ml, 1.5 ounces of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. And your chosen rye whiskey, I'm using Knob Creek today. Same again, 45 ml. 1.5 ounces. Just give me a gentle stir in the glass. Add some dilution. You could stir it a little bit longer if you like. And then express the oils. Have an orange over the top. They have a cold fashion. Cheers. Onto the coffee Negroni. So for those who don't know, the Negroni is simply gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. But today we're adding cold brew, coffee liqueur, and then lowering the amount of sweet vermouth. Incredibly easy. Same again, built in the glass. And it calls for three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mil of Mr. Black. 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of your preferred gin. I'm using Beefeater. 
Classic London Dry. And then 15 ml, half an ounce of Campari. And the last ingredient, sweet vermouth. I'm using Adelaide Hills Distillery Sweet Vermouth, which is a Torino style vermouth, but it is made in Adelaide. So 10 ml, a third of an ounce. Now fill your old fashioned glass with ice and give it a stir. And then garnish with a slice of orange. There you have a coffee Negroni. Last but not least is the Dominicana. So this, again, incredibly simple. Recipe that calls for Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur, 45 ml, 1.5 ounces followed by a Dominican rum. So I'm using the Tucson. Before you say anything, it is a Cuban rum, but they have moved production over to the Dominican Republic. So generally Dominican rums are column distilled and full of flavor. So 45 ml, 1.5 ounces. This is a 15 year Solera rum. Fill your mixing glass with ice, and then stir it to chill. And whilst you're stirring as well, make sure you've got a glass prepared, either in the fridge or filled with ice like I do. Now strain that into your chilled Nick and Nora glass. Making sure you have a little space at the top for your heavy cream. As you saw with the squeezy bottle, it made it really easy to layer it on the top. Otherwise, if you don't have one spare and you don't have a full thing of cream, then you can always layer it on the back of a spoon. Layer it as close as you can to the drink and then just pour it over the back. There you have the Dominicana. And now my favorite part of the video, the tasting. So there you have four easy coffee cocktails that you could recreate at home. You've got the espresso martini, the cold fashion, the coffee Negroni, and the Dominicana. Yes. I'm still blown away at this crema. That's not going anywhere. That is a delicious espresso martini. It's only a simple two ingredient recipe, but it really showcases the coffee itself. And for coffee lovers, this is your kind of espresso martini. Next, the cold fashion. Get those nice aromatics and the citrus on the nose. Oh, that's rich and intense. You get a little bit of the spice coming from the rye. This is dangerously good. And the most complex of the cocktails that I've created today with a whopping four ingredients Coffee Negroni. You get more of that bitterness coming through from the Campari. You get the, the citrus, those orange notes. A little bit less intense than the coffee of fashion. And what I'm expecting to be the, the richest of the four, the Dominicana. It 
it's definitely rich, it's intense. You can also optionally add sugar to this, which in this case, I, pr I probably would. I'd probably opt for seven and a half mils, a bar spoon of uh, simple syrup or demerara, just that tiny little bit to bring it all together. But the floated cream on top is just an important component of this as you, you sip through it. The cream does play a really important role in this cocktail. You, as you, you sip the ingredients through the cream, you've got that, that fattiness and that richness and that intensity to it. Just that touch of sugar and I think it'll just bring it all together. So my favorite out of these, I'd have to say either the two ingredient espresso martini or the cold fashion. Both the simplest of the four, two ingredients. That, that show, shows you exactly if you're using really good quality ingredients in your cocktails, then it doesn't have to be incredibly complex. I teased you earlier with the giveaway details. I'll make sure I put more information in the description below, but I'm putting together a Mr. Black pack. Unfortunately, it won't have any bottled Mr. Black in there because I want to make sure it's eligible for everyone, but you'll get a t-shirt as well as some barware and a few other knickknacks. So make sure you click in the link in the description below and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers. Fuck. So these four cough... <laughs> Speaking of making cocktails at home, the team from Mr. Black and I have joined fucking <laughs> I'm, I'm not designed to do this. <laughs>